Good afternoon guys, this is Vitaly with AFT Dispatch and A2C Logistics and in today's video I want to talk to you about the unemployment rate, what's going on in the country, what's happening in the shipping markets, the freight markets and the effect that this is having on all of us uh, in America. I'm going to visually show you the unemployment rate and I think that you definitely want to stick around because this is where it gets very very interesting. Now there is some good news, this is not all uh, doom and gloom but definitely stick around I'll switch things around I'll show you guys a visual representation brilliantly made really appreciate the guys who made this and I'm able to share this with you but definitely stick around throughout this video and I think that uh, it will make it very very clear where we are today where things are going and what we can expect in the future Now something that's worth mentioning is GDP or gross domestic uh, product. What GDP in layman's terms means is uh, the amount of product or services that were uh, you know, produced or served in any given year. Now 2019 uh, GDP was at 21.43 trillion dollars and 2017's uh, GDP was at 19. Uh, 39 trillion dollars so a difference of two trillion dollars we had a fantastic economy and the way things are going right now we're you know obviously 2020 numbers are not in but we are going to see a major major decline something that we have never seen in this country before something else to mention uh, you know and, and this is coming from uh, you know from uh, some of the statistics that have been pouring out since the unemployment numbers have come out and I'll read to you uh, including the prior week's 3.3 million initial claims, unemployment claims, Americans have filed nearly 10 million jobless claims in the last two weeks alone. This was reported two days ago. That corresponds to roughly a 6% uh, number, you know, 6% of America's 165 million strong workforce, which in turn implies a 9.5% unemployment rate, according to city economist Andrew Hollenhorst. And here's the thing, uh, you know, there were, there were speculation that uh, our unemployment rate is somewhere between 3.3% and 4.4%, approximately somewhere there. Now we're seeing, uh, uh, you know, an adjusted rate of 9.5%. This is unheard of and, 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 and absolutely, you know, this is something that we're going to pay for dearly and it will take many, many years. And this is where trucking comes in. Here's the thing. A lot of companies will go out of business. There's no doubt in my mind about that. But what I do know is that those who continue to work and continue to uh, make it through this, business, uh, through, through this year and through this time will actually see a lot more success in the coming years. Now it may it may be less time than that. We we may see a change in months and not necessarily years. But what's really important is understanding that today's hard work and the labor you put in today will pay off in the future. I mean that's how it is in, in most situations in life, right? And it's no different in trucking and in the labor uh, in the labor sector. Now something else to consider is. The way I look at the U.S. economy at the moment is that it's like a slingshot with, you know, it's, you stretched out the band and there's so much tension there. Eventually, it's going to pop. It's going to go forward, right? It's going to propel uh, the pellet forward and the pellet is going to be shipping. Most people don't understand this, but once everything starts to uh, speed up again, it's going to be the transportation industry, the freight industry, trucking those are going to truckers are going to be the successful job trucking is going to be the job everybody wants to get into because it's going to be one of the only jobs that's going to be making money right now we're putting in you know, a ton of work we're working very very hard while everyone's you know locked away at home truckers are busting their butts out there i i know it i know it 
We're getting a lot of phone calls for dispatch services. We are getting a lot of phone calls for leasing on. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. The problem right now is that, look, coming out of Salt Lake City is about 80 cents a mile. Now, those in the business know that that's way, way below operating costs. Idaho, Utah, Nevada, Washington, Oregon, all these states have cheap, cheap freight. At this time, as of this recording, there are over 2,000 trucks parked in Salt Lake City and uh, you know the, the vicinity, the metro area. You can't get through to a broker. There's no negotiating rates. Most of the decent, if I will, if I may, decent freight is out in the east and the east coast. There's some okay stuff out in the Midwest, but the western states have died down. And I've talked to di different uh, facilities or management at different facilities. And they're saying, listen, the big warehouses that are shipping things out to the, to the distribution centers, they, they're running out of stuff to ship. I mean, it's going to come to a point where we're going to unlock the country and we're going to start moving forward and shipping is going to be crazy. So whatever we remember from the times of, you know, post ELD, end of 2017, and the, from beginning to about the mid of 2018, those rate spikes that we saw, that's going to be child play. Freight is going to go through the roof. There will not be enough trucking companies out there. I expect that autonomous trucking will go into full gear and they're going to uh, you know, uh, move that forward as much as possible and try to get those on the road. Uh, that's still going to be okay for, for regular drivers, you know, human-driven uh, vehicles, because production cannot be ramped up so quickly uh, that even at the best-case scenario, I think it will take them upwards of two-plus years in order to get enough trucks on the road uh, to make, you know, a big, big dent and actually affect uh, regular traditional truck drivers. Again... Those of you, I know everybody's having a hard time. I know it. I hear this every day. But those of you who continue to put in the work now will see that you may not be making a lot of money, if any, at the moment, but you're staying in business. That's what's most important. Once this thing clears up, that's when you're, we're all going to catch up and make you know, money hand over fist. So stay positive, my friends. Stay positive. I'm going to show you guys, uh, I actually read to you something that I find, uh, that, that I found online. All right, guys, in closing, I'd like to read to you from a post by Andy Frisella. Really fantastic guy. He's the creator of uh, a 75 Hard, a mental toughness uh, program. Completely free, by the way. Take a look into it. Uh, he has a fantastic podcast called Real AF. He's the uh, owner of, as he says, a few companies, one of them being First Form. It's a, a, a natural supplement company, a performance company, and just somebody that I definitely admire and so highly recommend following um, in his, uh, you know, on social media platforms, including Instagram. And so we'll take a look here. It says, read the caption. By the way, fantastic, Chevelle. Um, Chances are you aren't going to die from this virus. You might. Someone you love might, which is why you should be smart. However, chances are you're going to live. And chances are you're going to be living in a very stressful financial situation, at least temporarily. Those are the statistical facts. So, because you're likely to live and because you're likely to be in a financial stress, I'd like to remind you of another fact. In times of stress, it's important to remember that nearly everything great comes from pressure. That's extremely hard to remember when you're down to your last few bucks. I've been in business for 21 years. About half of that time, I was less than a week away from being totally busted financially. So I know that what that's all about and haven't ever forgotten it. Here's what you need to know. There are two types of people that are going to come out of this current economic stress. The first group are going to look back at this time as the time that broke them. The second group are going to look back at this time as the time that made them. You may not think that's fair, but that doesn't mean it's not reality. It may not be the way you think it should be, but that doesn't mean it's not reality. The fact is that you have a choice. You have a choice in front of you whether you see it as a choice or not. The choice will determine which aforementioned group you will be in. The literal path to this current situation ending up making you, the long term, may be in fact a very difficult one. But that doesn't mean that it's any less of a choice. You have a choice. So keep this thought at the front of your mind. 
how are you going to come out of this better? Keep asking and the answer will appear. And he says, the pick has nothing to do with the caption, just a little something I love about America. 1970 Chevy Chevelle SS 454 LS 666 built by Craven Performance. One last look and a message and takeaway. Guys, keep going. This will pass. The ones that keep going, that don't allow this to be the straw that broke the camel's back, those are the ones that are ultimately going to succeed. Take care.